want to dedicate this song to the memory of two most wonderful people in my life. Mother Hallie Caesar and my sister Anne, who now sleeps.
from the Lord. In fact, it shows up every time that you need it. You can't earn it. You cannot work for it. All favor comes from the Lord. Listen. I'm walking in the favor of God. And His grace and mercy has brought me this far. I will believe all that His word says about me. Like in poverty. Yeah. 
my troubles surround me And I didn't have to despair Lord, you told me That you'd be right there It seemed like all my problems Had just begun But I didn't have to worry no more They were already won
place if you want to know what a miracle is. Go out to the hospital. Go to Mount Sinai. Go down on Skid Row. And look how blessed you are. A miracle is that supernatural gift that only God can give. When you look at me, you're looking at a miracle. Three years ago, one of the members in my church who, who rides along in the scooter because she, she couldn't walk. And I saw her in the mall. I said, it's a sister Deborah. God told me that he's going to heal you. Thank you, Pastor. And her mother just went on. And every Sunday she came to church. Still couldn't walk. A few Sundays ago, just before we brought the message, and I got some witnesses in here tonight from Mount Calvary. I walked over to her. I said, God said he's going to heal you. She had not walked in over 10 years. She got up. the front of the church. Walk down the aisle. I come to life to tell you, you next in line for a miracle. I don't care what the devil is saying. You next in line right now.
see next week.
Kirk Franklin, but that don't even really matter right now. What really matters is you about to hear from the reigning queen of gospel, Pastor Shirley Caesar. 
let's make a big, a big cry. Will you join in with us? Oh yeah! Oh, yes. Come on, everybody, yes. join in with us. Y'all sound good. When I speak, your spirit speak to me. Time for the reigning queen. Y'all give it up for Pastor Shirley Caesar. supper and he handed her a piece of paper he'd been writing on and after wiping her hands on an apron she took it in her hands and she read it and 
This is what it said. For more in the yard, five dollars. If I'm making up my own bed this week, one dollar. For going to the store, fifty cents. And playing with the little brother while you went shopping, twenty-five cents. Taking out the trash, one dollar. And for getting a good report card, five dollars. And for raking the yard, two dollars. Total owed fourteen seventy-five. Well, she looked at him standing there and expecting, and a thousand memories flashed through her mind. So she picked up the pen and turned the paper over, and this is what she wrote. For the nine months I carried you, growing inside me, no charge. For the nights I sat up with you, doctor, you prayed for you, no charge. Charge, son. When you add it all up, the full cost of my love is no charge. Well, you know, when I think about that, I think about the day that Jesus went out on Calvary and gave His life as a ransom for me. When I think on the words, "If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature," I like to think that the very minute that He shed His blood, my debt was paid in full. And I want you to know today, when you add it all up, the full cost of real love is no charge. The pressures of life seems to weigh you down. Um, you don't know which way to turn. And he's working it out for you. The child that's on cocaine, through prayer he can change that. That's on the verge of breaking up. Although sometimes you have to walk alone. Now you ask yourself. Is there a word from the Lord or from the Lord? You need a blessing, and you need it right away. God is concerned, and He's working.
the number one would surely be me. Oh, I thought I that I could be what I wanted to be. I thought. Of myself as a mighty anointed woman, but I can't even walk without you.
my brother was a pastor. Me and Andy, we were the members in the church. And let me tell you something. It's hard to come in contact with Jesus and still be the same. I don't care who you are. I don't care. You can be the truest of sinners. You will never be the same. And I've forgotten I've been going down to the church playing church. Came home still disobedient. Didn't want to wash the dishes. Didn't want to bring the clothes in off the line. Didn't want to do anything. Mama said, I'm sick of you going down to that church playing with God. Men and there, we went outdoors. We started playing church. Sat down on the bottom step. My brother was a preacher. And we were the members in the church. And he put some old glasses and put them right here on his nose. And he said, I, he said, I want you to jump up and shout Jesus three times. And I jumped up and I shouted Jesus two times. But when I jumped up the third time, something got a hold of me. I couldn't sit back down. And he ran in the house. She said, Mama, so Shirley Ann is out there playing with the Lord. Mama came to the door. And she looked out there and saw me shouting and dancing all over the backyard. Tears running down my face. It's just a lie. Mama looked out there and she said, she ain't playing this time. You've been 
so good. So good. Get a bit now. So Get a bit, little bit now. So You've been so good to me. So good. So, so good. So good. So, so good. He picked me up. So and he took me around. Yes. Oh, somebody ought to get happy like me. Now the seeds of coffee.
is that supernatural gift that only God can give. When you look at me, you're looking at a miracle. Three years ago, one of the members in my church who, who rides along in the scooter because she couldn't walk. And I saw her in the mall, I said, as a sister Deborah, God told me that he's gonna heal you. She said, thank you, Pastor. And her mother just went on. And every Sunday she came to church, still couldn't walk. A few Sundays ago, just before we brought the message, and I got some witnesses in here tonight from Mount Calvary. I walked over to her, I said, God said he's gonna heal you. She had not walked in over 10 years. She got up and walked across the front of the church. Receive it by faith tonight. Come on and receive it by faith. 